Hey, peeps, how you doing? Okay, what I'm going to do is this bit, and I am going to get our page up so I can chat to you guys because, you know, it doesn't work on my phone. It just doesn't. You know what it's like. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let me see. Uh, no, that is just says live. Let me refresh. If you are here, let me know uh, before we get stuck in. Okay, right. Okay. Alrighty. I'm live. I am live. Okay. Awesome. Let's go, people. Let's go. You know what? How's your day been anyway? I'll tell you what. You know I'm on this weight loss journey. So we actually start off. Oh, I wrote it down on the board. If you have joined our um, membership two, Mission 500, and you want us to help you with your weight loss journey as well, basically it's an accountability group, okay? I am not uh, a nutritionist or anything like that. I'm not a weight loss coach or anything, uh, but I'm getting a group of us together who want the same results, like lose weight, have an accountability to help us, you know, prepare our meals, uh, check in, progress tracking, all that good stuff, okay, to help us stay on board. And one of the things I just mentioned was how I've got into a really bad habit. Now, when I'm really, when I'm really naughty, like today, okay, today I've had a bad day with eating, um, well, I've just eaten crap. I know, uh, it's really annoying because when I eat crap, I don't put it in my fitness pal. So this is an app that you can put in and input uh, what you've been eating and it can track your macros and you know, um, your calories and that kind of thing. And I've noticed that when I'm naughty, I don't fill it in. So I've noticed that today. So actually I, I filled it in today once I noticed. I was like, I haven't filled it in because I know I've been naughty. Uh, so I filled it in because um, I'm like, right, that's a really bad habit. Anyway, <laughs> we'll talk about that. If you want to come and join us, if you are, if you already joined us, if you have joined the membership, make sure you log in and make sure you log, um, you know, come and join us in the Facebook group because uh, I want us to do, do it together, okay, and tackle these bad habits together. Who else is here? Hey, Catherine. Hey, Kathy. How are you doing? Cool. Catherine and Kathy. Uh, cool. Okay. So that is the first thing. Okay. If anyone's like me, who's just really crap with eating, <laughs> let's do it together. So we start that on the 12th of September, but I'm going to go live in the group tomorrow evening. Uh, so make sure if you are a member that you are, are um, you've put yourself in there. Okay. Um, and then general accountability will happen on the 12th as well. So, um, if you are joining us on anything, if you're working and you're like, Oh, I really want somebody to track my progress or I need that accountability to make sure I do my workout. Cause if you're like a lot of my members who join because they want the results, but then don't always do the work. Yeah. I'm talking to some of you. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you at the back, <laughs> right? Uh, that's what you want to be involved with. Okay. Cause what we do is then each week we'll get you to post your videos and if you don't post your videos we're going to call you out uh so it's just one way to stay accountable <laughs> how are we doing guys right who else is here let me know so yeah that's a lot going on isn't it but anyway today's session is all about getting your hips up for your invert okay so i have already done some work towards this i've done some core work with you guys on floor based stuff to get work on getting your hips up uh, but I've still had messages going, yeah, it's all right doing it on the floor, Kel, I'm doing good at that, but I can't do it up the pole, right? So let's talk about it. So core is like one side with the inverted, okay? You definitely need a really strong core, which is why a lot of times we focus on it, okay? But another element of inverting is to using your back. And for so many, they don't use their back. Who else is here? Hey, Brandy, how you doing? I could just see something pop up there and I couldn't see who it was. Um, so lots of people don't use their back. And then what happens is they have, like a, their, if you look at their choppers or their inverts, they'll be rounded and their butt will be super low. So let me show you what I'm talking about with that. So if yours looks, you may have seen the image that I use because this is classic, okay? So... People are like, yeah, I've got this strong core, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And then they get into their invert and they're like, okay, this is not a good invert. Can you see how round my back is? It's also very hard to hold, okay? You make it life much more difficult for yourself. However, if you don't have the back strength there, um, then of course you're not going to be able to use it. So what I mean by that, when you're in that rounded position, just think you're like, you've got this, you, you basically want to create your, um, this, no, i start that again, shall I? So we've got this gap here and we want it flat, like your back, okay? So if my back is rounded, I want it flat. So what we're going to do, we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together, okay? So if you just start like facing your pole, you can just get used to understanding the feeling. Holding onto the pole, rounding your back, okay? So like separate the shoulder blades. Sometimes you'll do this 
and to cool down. Okay, but then all I want you to do is think about pulling the shoulder blades together. Okay, can you see the difference in my back already? So I've gone from this round position to squeezing my shoulders together. Yeah, and then I want to think about pulling down. Okay, so when we're going on the pole, we're pulling that pole into the floor. So to help strength up, we can obviously work on scapular pushes, which is the same, a very similar thing, okay? But also what I tend to do in my Master the Chopper program is work on pull-ups, and you can do these from the floor. And a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not, I'm not anywhere near got the strength to do a pull-up. You don't need to be. These are assisted pull-ups, okay? These are what I call a seated pull-up. And you can do these as a complete beginner, okay? Because how much resistance you give yourself will depend on your ability, right? So we need to strengthen this back, okay? So the reason why, like I said, is that roundness, okay? So if I go into an invert again, with that round back, really like that. Now, when I pull my shoulders back, can you see how high my hips raised? That's what's gonna help you get your hips up, okay? So if you've been drilling your core, you've been doing all the core exercises, you've been doing those floor inversions uh, that I showed you to do, now we need to develop that, that back strength, okay? Um, if you're following MTC, our Master the Chopper training, then you'll get all this covered, okay? Each section covers everything that you need, so you don't need to worry about adding anything extra. Um, so what we're gonna do is start off with those seated pull-ups, okay? So who else is here? Oh, thanks, Shell. How are you doing, sweet? Um, alrighty, so. Okay. So, if you've been doing my live MTCs on, um, uh, on Zoom, you will totally recognise these, okay? So, seated pull-ups. So, we are fo what are we focused on? We're going to focus on pulling the pole down. Uh, even though we're in an upright position, it will still work for the muscles that you need for your limber, for your limber okay? So, face the pole. My hips are quite close to the base of the pole. I'm going to reach my hands up with a slight bend in my arms, okay, I'm not way up here. So hands up, elbows come in, slight bend, okay. I've got my feet flat on the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on pulling that pole into the floor before I even lift, okay. And I'm squeezing my shoulders down and back. Then from here I'm going to think about pulling and bringing my elbows towards my sides, okay. Now I want you to do more focus with those, that pull up, okay, rather than pushing with your feet. So start with that pull, okay, and if you're like, oh my god, I can't lift, then you can use your feet a little bit, squeeze, 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 squeeze those shoulders back, elbows down to the sides, and then slowly come down again. Then we're going to swap your hands around the other way, repeat, pull down first, okay, don't use your feet initially, and then squeeze, and then if you need to, use them a little bit, okay. What you do not want to be doing is this. <laughs> Okay, this just means you're using too much of pushing with your, through your feet and not using your arms, okay? So I'd rather you, um, you know, take your time and it be more of a struggle here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. The less with the feet because you are getting that pull down. Okay, so don't go with ego thinking, oh, I can get really high. Yeah, this is really easy. We don't want easy, okay? We want results. Um, so making sure that you're swapping your hands around each time you do it. You can do that for a certain amount of reps. Um, I, we do it to time, so we do each of our work, each of our um, exercises, if you like, for 30 seconds. That way the whole group can stay up to speed together. Um, we used to do it in reps, but then, you know, some people are quicker, some people are slower. And then it sort of just gets out of rhythm and it's a little bit confusing. So yeah, so we just do it to time to make it super easy. That way, because we had a member who said that it used to take her nearly two hours to complete the MTC. And I'm like, why is it taking you so long? Uh, because she was really focusing on trying to get all the reps in, which I totally get. But she was spending too long. So this is why I was like, right, let's change it to time. So you have like 30 seconds to get it done. No messing around. No like, uh, so many people stop too long in between their workouts, guys. So if you're like, oh, I'll just do a couple of reps. I'll have a drink. I'll go through Instagram. Okay. That's why you're not getting results. Okay. You've got to be quicker. Okay. You've got to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So when you follow the program, it's 30 minutes. Get it done. Boom. Right. Don't need it, right? Okay. <laughs> we don't need procrastination when it comes to MTC. We just need to get it done. Um, oh, I'm good. Thank you, honey. I'm all good. Alrighty. So does that make sense with the pull down? Okay. So don't worry, I'm going to go over a little bit more. So 
one, making sure you've got that uh, floor invert strength, okay, that floor inversion, which I'll quickly go over for you, that we've already covered anyway previously. Um, but two, work on your back. Get used to doing those pull downs. So when you do a floor inversion, so we can still practice the floor inversion, but we can think about squeezing the back, okay? So when we do a floor inversion crunch, or what I call a floor hippie uppy um, in, in the MTC train. So, so we're going to start with a pole in the armpit. So this, this uh, session is not just about inverting, it's about getting the hips up, okay? So we are going to focus on reaching the hands up, pulling the pole down, I'm not bending my arms. I know others teach you to have your arms tucked, but when you're, or arms in a bent position, but when you're in the invert, your arms are straight. So we are going to start with our arms straight. So we're going to pull that pole down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my knees out and I'm going to shoot my toes up. Hopefully you remember that one. But what I want to do, if you look at the moment, if I reach up, my shoulders are rounded. Okay, this is going to give me a round back. So when you go up, you won't feel like you get your hips very high. Okay, so what we want to do is as the legs go up, we're going to pull down and we're going to squeeze the shoulders back. Now, when you're on the floor, you'll probably find that you'll bring your, your head will touch the floor. Don't worry about it, okay? It's still working on that arm, um, that pulling the shoulders back. And that's what I want you to, to get used to, okay? So as we go up, pull the shoulders back, okay? This is going to help you get your hips up and keep them up. So up, shoulders back, lower down. Up, shoulders back, lower down, okay? So pull, squeeze. Does this make sense, okay? Once you've mastered like your pull-ups, and by the way, once you have done your pull-ups with your art, with your um, legs bent, you can then transition on working on pulling up and then lifting your legs up as well. Okay. So what I mean by that is like you pull, squeeze, lift, lift, down, down. Okay. So you can continue to develop your strength working on that pulling. Okay. And um, so we've gone floor inversion, pull-ups. So let's get this up on the pole. So you've got your tucks, we're working on your tuck tilts. When you work on your tuck tilts, this is the important bit when you get your, when you need your shoulders to work, okay? You need to squeeze the shoulder back, shoulders back. If you are not, you're gonna be rounded, your hips are gonna stay low. So this is where we need to focus on this element. So if I'm all honest, I would actually probably stop inverting, just getting the legs up, and more focus on just the tilt, so you're not worrying about getting the legs up high, it's about getting the hips up, okay? And the hips not only come from obviously your core strength to be able to lift, but squeezing the shoulders back, like we've already showed you. Um, if you are rounded, your hips are low. So, so many people are like, oh, I keep, can't get my leg hooks, okay? This is when we looked at Gemini, somebody said to me, yeah, it's fine, but I can't get that leg, I can't get my hips high enough to hook. And it's because of the back, okay? I don't even need to look at a video. I pretty much really know that. So when we go into the invert, you can focus. Uh, so when we go to the tuck and we're going to try and tilt back, you can already focus on squeezing the shoulders back just like we did on the floor. So rather than just staying here, this is going to be really hard. When you tilt back, you're going to slide because I'm not using my back. So I'm going to think about tucking the knees out, squeezing the shoulder blades together as I tilt, okay? If I don't, I'm here. Does this make sense now, okay? And this is not a quick fix, okay? I'm not going to give you any, you know, magic pill or anything to get you to do it right away. If you haven't trained or worked your back, you're going to have to train and work your back. It's as simple as that, okay? So once we've got that tilt, you can then use that floor inversion technique exactly the same, okay? So I'll just quickly if I can show you, I'll see if I can demo it slow, it's very hard to do it slow. But we're gonna go into like a, a chopper, a bit of a failing chopper, to squeezing and shooting the legs up. And the idea is to focus on the hips up, okay? So hips up and chopper is what I call this, okay? So up and over, bit rubbish, and then I'm gonna power up Pull my shoulders together, okay? So can you see I've got my hips to the bar, my leg or my, the, my knee is above my hand, that's a lot easier to hook, okay? Come back to chopper, shoulders back. If you're not, you'll be here. You're gonna find it really hard to hold. And you just come down. So we want to think up, shoulders, shoot up, if you're going into an inverter. You just hold the chopper, you're just working on that back strength anyway. So everything I'm trying to tell you is not just core, cool. 
is the back. So get your back nice and strong. Because if you can get into that tuck and you're pulling the shoulders back, your hips will go up without you even thinking about hips. One other thing I want to cover with you. Who else is here? Oh, hi, Jen. Oh, hi, Katrine. Thank you so much for the stars, guys. That's amazing. Hey, Tanisha, how you doing? Um, so one other thing I want to talk about really quickly is, you know, the, uh, you might have seen the picture that I showed uh, for this live. I had one that had a rounded back and my hips were quite low and my legs were quite high. Uh, and the other one, my hips were high and my legs were low. And this not only comes with the back, this comes to how you're using your legs, okay? So with an invert, you're basically using your whole body. Uh, so we need to make sure that we're focusing on all areas. And it's one of those things that you start to get going and then you're like, oh, I need to focus on just my arms. And then something else doesn't play ball and it's just gonna come with practice, okay? So how did I get that transition? Or how did I improve that? So if you saw just now, when I did a really rubbish um, chopper, so it looks like this. Okay, I'll turn my back, turn my back, turn back to you. So, can you see this chopper? Okay, it's not great. Okay, so all I'm going to do to improve that, so I would love for you to do a chopper as you normally would, film it and then screenshot it, and then do this. Okay, so we're going to go into an invert. We're going to pull the shoulders back if you've got the shoulder strength there. And then you're going to think about toes to the floor. So let's correct this technique. Okay, so stupid chopper. I'm going to squeeze and pull my shoulders back. And now I'm going to focus on my toes to the floor. What a difference, right? Hands are about to sit off. So shoulders back, toes down. So one more. Really crappy chopper. Okay, toes down, straight in the back. And then you'll get a much improved chopper. Okay, make sense? Hopefully so. Okay, short and sweet. I don't like to uh, hang around too long because I can talk for, for England. <laughs> oh dear. Cool. Let me know if this makes sense to you and whether you have any other questions. Okay, continue to work on your core stuff. <laughs> Got excited. Um, continue to build your strength in your back. If you're not sure, come and join us message me i've just added some extra time slots uh to come and help you know book a call with me we'll have a chat basically through zoom we'll just have a chat let's find out what you're struggling with let's see if we can help you if you want to come and join us and access all our workouts so you can build strength and progress let's get on it right uh if you want to figure it out on your own you go for it but otherwise awesome okay i think i've covered everything i need to cover today uh, love your socks and leggings. Thank you, my lovely. I don't know where my socks come from. <laughs> Probably Primark. Uh, but these leggings are off the pole, actually. Yes. Don't have many off the pole. Actually, I've got two pairs. And yeah, I do like these. The only difference with these is they're quite silky. So they're not brilliant on the pole. Uh, but I do like them, nonetheless. They're going to be good uh, stretching uh, leggings. <laughs> Awesome. All right, my loves. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, thank you for the stars. Thank you for the love. And I look forward to having a chat with you guys soon. Um, and yeah, if you need some help, book a call. You'll chat just to me. Um, I'm not too scary. <laughs> and uh, we'll get you sorted. All right, my lovelies. See you later. Bye.